What's happening guys? And you're watching Mom Duty. Join us as we explore the Philippines. In the next four days, we are heading to somewhere natural, somewhere tranquil, and somewhere beachy. And by the way, this will be Mochi's second staycation. <laughs> also, keep tuning in because we're going to be giving away the details of our next giveaway. Yes, definitely stick around because this giveaway is worth 50,000 pesos, guys. But this time around, we're only picking one winner. Always taking care of us. Thank you, Mario. No Appreciate problem, it. sir. Thank you. Are we all set? Yep, all set. Ah, the air con feels so good. <laughs> All right, guys, we are leaving BGC at uh, 10, 21 a.m. Uh, we are pretty much already on a standstill. And Rocio here is going to give us our schedule for the next four days. We are headed to Morong, Bataan. We're going to be staying in Nelvin's cousin's new resort called Rafa's Beach Villas. How crazy that he has a cousin who owns a resort. It's so exciting. And once we get there, we're going to be dropping off all of our luggage. His family's not going to be there today. They will be there tomorrow. I'm coming. <laughs> She's so camera shy. This is my cousin, <laughs> KK. So we're going to be heading to Subic Bay to explore because it's very close by. The following day, we're going to be staying the entire day at the resort, hanging out with Melvin's family. I am so excited mm. about that. I'm not just saying this, but I'm so proud of you guys. Wow, thank, thank you. you. Guys thank you guys have done also. a really good job. <laughs> then it doesn't end there. The following day, we're going to be heading to Las Casas Filipinas, which is all so close by we've been wanting to go there forever so it's gonna be a lot of fun this week let me introduce you to our driver who's gonna be with us in the next four days here his name is they are so aka Felix for those that are wondering because last time when we took transportation we ended up booking on a website and I think we got foreigner prices because we just went from here to uh, Clark City which is in Pampanga and it took about two and a half hours but round trip was around close to I believe 10,000 pesos which is quite a lot and when we mentioned that in the vlog everyone said that we got ripped off so I'm gonna give you guys what we're getting charged we are only getting charged 20,500 pesos are we getting local prices Kuya? Yes, sir. That is the cheapest price. Ah. Uh, yes, sir. If you don't think it's a good deal, let us know. But if you think it is a good deal and you would like to use uh, JR, I'm going to go ahead and leave his name and number on the link below. By the way, guys, we know nothing about Subic Bay. So I'm going to be doing some research to find out what we can do there that's family friendly after I finish answering some of your comments because we appreciate you guys so 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 much so again guys we left at 10 21 a.m i am predicting about four and a half hours what are you guys predicting four hours probably. four hours yeah. okay five hours i guess i'll pick six hours because we've got to make some pit stops especially with mochi Mochi's and we're stuff. gonna need to eat because we haven't eaten yet so yeah six hours maybe uh -huh. JR, how long do you think it'll take us? 3 hours and 20 minutes. Ooh, I like him. Okay, you said 3 hours and 20 minutes. I'm letting go with reservations, but they won't hold me back any longer. By the way, this car is called a Stargazer. Pretty roomy. It looks kind of small from the outside, but once you uh, get in, you got a lot of leg room. Mochi has a lot of room there and you got a lot of room in the back. I've been lost inside my head for longer than I care to admit. Time check, it is 1221, so we are two hours in. And from the looks of it, we are about an hour, 30 minutes to two hours to our destination. Nia might be winning. She chose four hours. I don't think uh, Mom Duty has a chance or chose six, six hours. hours. Well, you know, I thought we were gonna stop and get food, and we have not. Oh, done that. I so see. No. just wait and see. I might be, I might be winning this one. Moving my feet across this floor, we're gonna walk right through that open door. Oh, oh, oh. 
By the way guys, I must say that JR is a very smooth and safe driver. I like how you drive. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you have any kids? Yes, sir. Two children, sir. Two? How old are they? Three years old, sir. Youngest is two years old. The eldest is boys. Oh, okay. So you have a boy and a girl. Hit the jackpot. Boy and a girl. I'm done with letting doubts creep in. I'm reaching for the confidence to find my We have made it to Batahan, but we are still about an hour away from Rafa. And uh, Rocio here has sabotaged the plan. It's about one o'clock, so she knows she's losing. Stomach is growling. <laughs> so she is requesting McDonald's. Did you get food also, Mochi? <laughs> Mochi, say hi. Did you get food also, Mochi? <laughs> Mochi's making friends. You guys got all the food? Yeah. So we'll go ahead and park so uh, Kuya here can also eat. And this is what I usually get, guys, right here. The chicken McDo. And with it comes rice. Only in the Philippines where you can get chicken McDo. Alright, we're all set on our way. By the way, guys, this province Bataan is pretty famous they're famous for the battle of Bataan that's when the Filipino and American soldiers try to slow down the Japanese from moving forward until they had to surrender of course and uh, when they surrendered to the Japanese they had to do this brutal march towards this mountain it's called Mount Sama uh, yeah that was a brutal march where most of them didn't make it but nonetheless those two events played a big role in gaining the Philippine independence against the Japanese a lot of historical significance in this province Alright guys, it is 2.41 and if we get there exactly at 2.51, that means I get 4 hours and 30 minutes right on the dot. It's 2.48 guys, 3 more minutes. How many more minutes are we away? 2 minutes! 2 minutes! <laughs> Alright JR, you gotta get me there by 2.51 and I win. Is this Rafa right there? And I think we're right here. Right there. Now you predicted Over there. It. The only time you've ever been right. Oh wow. Congratulations. We <laughs> made it. 251. Alright. Oh, this looks so nice. Literally went through that small little town and boom, you're right in this paradise setting. And I can see the beach. Time magazine, I'm the person of the year. Grab a bottle off the shelf. Time to cheers. Best friends with the top. Jello Sulangi. Jello. 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 Nice to meet you. I'm Lynn. Lynn? Yes. Lynn, nice Welcome to meet you. Rafa Beach Villas. Oh, thank you. So he's your king right for Casita Victoria. Oh, okay. okay. There you go. All right, so they have two villas here, a four bedroom and a two bedroom. And we're going to be taking the two bedroom casita. But we are going to just be here very quickly. We're going to be dropping off our luggage and then we're going to be heading out to Subic Bay to explore. But stay tuned because we're going to be giving you a tour of the entire resort coming soon. Cannot wait to show you around. TikTok, I'm more than a queen. I'm the king, kiss the ring. I want it, I want it, I see it, I be it, they do it, I did it. Whoa! This is so nice. Can't wait to give you guys a full tour of this resort coming soon, but we're gonna head out to Subic right now. Gonna flex my muscle when I'm on my hustle. Confetti brains when I win this game. First place is my name. I've been winning every day. It's me and the clock, I've been kicking like the rock, I stand so long. So the drive has been beautiful, very green and lots of mountains. It reminds me of California. You get beautiful views of the water. I wonder what body of water is here. If it connects to the sea, it might be brackish, which is a mix of salt and fresh Ooh. water. I'm smart. Wow. I probably did not look that up. Just <laughs> Actually, I have the Google Maps out and it says it's Subic Bay. Welcome to Subic Bay! We made it! Ah, it is about almost 5 o'clock and it feels really good. We're just gonna explore. We really don't know what to expect here at Subic Bay. But uh, interesting so far. 
I mean, just from driving here, the whole city kind of feels a little bit more mellow. So we came to visit the lighthouse. Just found out it's a resort. You can actually stay here and get a good view of the water. And it's located at the far end of the beach. So it feels really quiet and peaceful, kind of like what Nelvin was just saying. Now, Rocio mentioned it is a resort and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's right on the water, pretty much but I don't see anyone checked in, only workers. Anyway, Subic Bay used to be a US military base. It kind of reminds me of uh, Clark City in Pampanga, which was also a US military base, but it transformed into a duty-free zone, just like here, uh, and that is to promote businesses and, and shopping. And it's crazy, I was looking at the sand and it's a little bit dark and I think it's because it's mixed with volcanic sand. So white sand and volcanic sand gives it like this grayish ashy look. It is so beautiful here. The ocean breeze feels incredible and we are passing these sailing boats. I heard you can go sailing. I think if we did that during sunset time, like right now, that would be great. And you can also rent yachts. We pass them on the way here and the yachts are really nice. All right, that was the lighthouse. Now let's keep uh, walking. Oh wow, that's a boardwalk. Oh wow, this is pretty. It's like a little boardwalk. Reminds me of a boardwalk in Mexico where it's just wide and it's got beautiful plants and live music and little different sections where you could eat al fresco. Ah, nice breeze. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, this boardwalk is filled with like little boutique hotels. It is a weekday, so it kind of feels dead, but I can imagine what this looks like during a weekend during sunset hour. My favorite part about this boardwalk is the palm trees. It lines up perfectly with the boardwalk. It kind of gives you California vibes. All right, so on that side would be all the boutique hotels. And then you got another street here that's lined up with just a bunch of uh, restaurants. And uh, we're gonna check out this restaurant here called Texas Joe's House of Ribs. And it's been highly recommended by a lot of people. Yay, we love dogs! This is great news! So this is the outside of the place. I'm wondering what it looks like inside. I'm actually gonna take you guys in. Mochi, you can't come. Best description would be, it looks like a ordinary authentic texas smokehouse i just looked up texas joe's house of ribs and they got five stars out of 2439 reviews that is a good sign and when i read the reviews it said that they're known for their beef brisket and pulled pork yeah. well you guys gotta try it because apparently it's delicious here i don't know but i kind of want ribs um let's see they've got a full rack is 1,339. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad? Yeah. That's about right. That's price good. Yeah. Think I got the chance. And I ain't gonna waste it. Honey tripping romance. Cheers, Ocampo. Cheers to uh, having fun this week. All right, before we get our food, I'm gonna tell you my honest opinion of what I think about Subic Bay. Um, I like it. It's There's certain parts that are really nice and beautiful, like those palm trees. It feels very uh, peaceful and tranquil, but at the same time, it kind of feels like a little bit worn down. I think it needs a, a, a makeover. But uh, would I come back here again? I would come back here again probably during the night because it looks pretty cool during the night. I can see this being a, a lot livelier. So it's a cool place to go to and probably just hang out and party. Now I'm wondering what the family thinks about this. Oh, food is here, guys. So I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. Baby, baby back with barbecue sauce. 
What the heck? What was that? That was a commercial way back then. Could you send out a tune? I want my baby back, 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 that's really good. It's like has a texture of ribs, but has a taste of like a barbecue chicken, but more on the meaty side. It kind of melts in your mouth, but at the same time you have to chew for it. So it's like gives you that satisfaction at the end. And and the hickory barbecue sauce just makes it beautiful. Okay, let me try it with the, the gravy and the mashed potato. Ready, set. Mm, that is. Some good gravy mashed potato on a brisket. 10 out of 10. Oh man, Knox was making my mouth water when he was talking. I like how you describe food, son. You're very good. Uh -huh. I've been to a lot of places in the U.S. and tried many baby back ribs. This would have to rank at number number one. That's how good it is. You got that perfectly smoky flavor. Very soft, it melts in your mouth, it falls off the bone. Mmm, that is so tender. Oh my God, number one. I'm a baby back grits kind of guy, but who would have thought that my number one baby back grits would be in the Philippines? 10 out of 10, that is so good. Let me taste those beans first. Good beans, not the best, but great beans. Now I know why. It's five star out of 2,400 reviews. Unheard of. Bravo. Bravo, Texas Joe. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. I need my paddle hat. Knox, you gotta try this really quick, dude. Yeah. That's good. It's really good. Just beautiful, like the most heavenly baby back ribs ever like now the question is what do you like better brisket for the biscuit or mm, baby back ribs uh the bis brisket oh, like and brisket. then baby back ribs oh okay this is really good but i just really love the brisket okay. okay oh wow look i didn't even have to cut it it just kind of uh cut by itself here look huh mm. oh that's good it doesn't taste too barbecuey like there's not like a teriyaki or a heavy oh, yeah. barbecue sauce. It's very, just you know, like light and stuff, very tender uh -huh. and juicy. Definitely not too intense of barbecue, but it is really good. So I'd probably rate this. Because I'm not a big barbecue person, so I like how they did light on the sauce. So a 7.6 out of 10. That means it's like a 10 out of 10 for her. Well, you know what is good are the garlic green beans. Can I try some? Oh my gosh. Like black pepper and garlic. So, <laughs> you just made like the most awful face, and I'm like, this is so delicious. I prefer so French fries. Okay, French fries and green beans. Cheers. I don't think the ladies can really appreciate what a good smokehouse is because they don't really eat barbecue. But me and Knox here, different appreciation. Thank you. Tastes like a quesadilla. 10 out of 10. What I like about Subic Bay is that it's quiet, but the thing I don't like about it is that this, the sea is, has some traps on the beach and it's it's a little bit too quiet. So, uh, and I wish it was it had more activity, but maybe that's just on the weekdays. My honest review on Subic Bay is that it's really slow, which I love. Like, it is a getaway from the city and stuff, and it's very, like quiet and peaceful, but as Knox said, the beach did have some trash in it and stuff, but I would definitely come back here again because there are like little gems everywhere, which I really love. So, yeah. Bye bye, baby. Subscribe, like, don't know about too much, and never miss another video. Yeah. I feel like everybody said what I was gonna say.
I, they summed it up for me. Now let's talk about our next giveaway that's worth over 50,000 pesos. Oh my gosh. We are gonna be picking just one winner this time and we're giving away a staycation. So make sure you tune in to our next vlog for all of the details. And in the meantime, if you wanna watch more Mom Duty content, you click right here. And <laughs> you click right here. Or you can subscribe right here. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.